Warning, the contents of this video is very graphic in nature. There are so many people like them who walk on the path of hell that it is countless now. These people are following the path to hell without any awareness that their destination will be hell. The story of the artist who drew about hell. May 22, 2009. It was the twelfth night of the hundredth day of all night prayer. The words, it's hot, came out of my lips, and I realized that my spirit was going through the suffering of hell. Then I saw a series of four images. I realized that this woman had been a woman with many sexual experiences. I realized that this man had been a man who had committed sins with his lips. Satan rips the flesh of man's spirit, roasted it, and enjoy it as food. These were the spirits who landed in the island of hell, and I saw a black factory far in a distance. I realized that these people will soon undergo tortures of hell there. The feeling of intense fear and dread did not leave me. Even by then, I did not know why I saw those things. My heart grew hot from praying all night. As an artist, I was inspired to let people know the heart of the Lord and in this time period through my paintings. So I expressed my desperation to my pastor and asked for his prayer and advice. People tend to think that heaven and hell are only a conceptual world of dreams. The spiritual world is a world of reality that actually exists. The mind, thoughts, and heart of the body are transferred directly to the spirit. So the pain of hell is felt as if one would feel physically. Also, the spirit can sense things just as the physical body can, but it can feel things more sensitively and intensely. The joy of heaven and pains of hell can also be felt much more intensely than one would with a physical body. However, heaven and hell actually do exist. A video of heaven or hell could not be recorded and brought back, so the Lord showed what they are like through these artists. The paintings you are about to see are actual scenes from the various parts of hell that are expressed through these paintings. Hell for Murderers There were outcries from spirits who were being cut like slabs of meat all over the place in the human meat market. The flesh were being cut and hung throughout the place, and a huge Satan with a beast-like face held a big knife. Put the flesh meat on top of the cutting board and cut them. The cut slabs of flesh screamed out in pain and begged to have their life spared. The first murder in the Bible, Cain. The reason for murder was jealousy and envy. Hell of jealousy and envy. Satan threw the people in hell one by one over the cliff that connected to the floor below. 
and slid them down on the fluid like secreted from the walls like water slides. The people who received the suffering of being thrown over the cliff are people who felt neglected and loved and felt left out. On the floor of the basement section of hill, there was a huge shovel that was placed on the rock like a seesaw. On the shovel, there was a person sitting there, tightly bound and trembling in fear. There was a fat but nimble Satan, and at the moment he jumped up and down the handle of the shovel. The man screamed and flew high up in the air and disappeared. Hell for those who commit sins verbally. Lord, for those who cut me to pieces, disregard my word, and speak recklessly, their tongues will be hammered with a big nail. Their lips will be sewn together with a needle, and lava will be poured on their tongues. Hell for slanders. The psychology behind slander is that it does not stop at an instant one heart is, but rather it gets relayed to another person and so forth until it becomes a widespread rumor within moments. The tongues of people who make slandering their duty are similar to the tongues of Satan. One mistake slander will cause both the slanderer and the victim to undergo the suffering that comes from slandering. Slander is a habit, too. It is a satanic trait of taking pleasure in speaking ill of others. I, Lord, say unto you to please eliminate the seed of such slander. Liars. Satan kept shoving rocks into the mouth of a man. The man threw up and cried out in pain, but Satan kept shoving the rocks without a moment of rest. Complainers. I saw a man who was being strangled and tied with a snake, and a long, thin snake was wiggling inside his stomach. Numerous men laid on the floor with a robotic facial expression as if they had no thought in them. And their faces were pale and gray with their eyes staring blankly. I heard a noisy crowd in my ear. The noise was truly like the sound of hell that I heard on the internet. And it sent shivers down my spine for it was noisy and a dreadful noise. When I listened closely, I heard that there were voices of people who were grumbling and complaining. It is the Lord's fault. It is God's fault. It is your fault. It's all the pastor's fault. I heard every one of them complain that it was someone's fault. Their complaints were so loud that it hurt my ears. Then they looked so unsightly that I had to quickly glance at the Lord's face that this is what the Lord said. They did not say it was with words, but they always had negative words and thoughts and had stubbornness stored in their hearts. Just because it's not spoken does not mean the sin was not committed. It is sin even to keep in your heart without resolving, repenting of things that are in your heart. Hell for those who commit suicide. One man stores suicide. Continuous stress. Oh, I'm so tired and exhausted. Wherever I go, there's no place where I can feel at peace.
I've tried to soothe myself with drinking. I don't want to live anymore. Would everything be peaceful once I die? Would the weight of this life be lifted off of me once I die? Where am I? Satan, so you thought it would be over once you die. Satan, you thought you would be happy once you die. If I could only go there, those who are in hell know that there is heaven, yet they also know no matter how much they cry and repent, they can never go to heaven. Hell is a world of eternal regret and suffering. Hell for addicts. Internet addicts. Intense use of internet leads to communication, game, pornography, and other addictions. And it can cause confusion between virtual worlds and reality. Bearing in language, violence, sexual perversion, and other crimes. Therefore, it can be the major cause that leads people to sin. Drug addicts. Hell for drug addicts was a very cold place. Satan cut up their spirit arms and legs, buried them in ice, and tied the rest of their bodies to trees with ropes. Next, they forced open the spirit's mouth and poured dirty sewage water into it. Materialistic people. These people love money when they were physically alive, but they receive eternal suffering here. Materialistic people. These people are so caught up in their pursuit for riches that they value money more than people. Prefer luxurious imported cars over faith in mock churchgoers. They also live in fear that the food that Satan pours on them will vanish, so they try to feel their greed for possessions. Just as they were once sophisticated, Satan raises them high on a pedestal. and burns their whole body to flames where they will live in intense and extreme pain. Hell for those who commit sexual sin. 
Even if love was done out of mutual affection, it was done outside of the law that the Almighty God has given to them. It is considered as a sexual sin. People commit sexual sin, but they believe that it is just one of their ways of life. Love that is neither sincere or for salvation of lives, but done simply for own pleasure is considered to be sin. The reason is that our body was not created as a tool for pleasure. Hell for those who commit sexual sin. A woman and a man had all their limbs spread apart and bound in the nude. They were hung high up. The Satan had two to three meters long spears and pierced them, puck, puck, into the genitalia of a woman and a man again and again. A long and thin snake that was over 15 meters long entered into the vagina of the woman within seconds and passed through her whole body until it came out of her mouth. A man was stuck on a wall of the pit like a human bat and a beast that looked like hyenas were gawning at the man's penis. The men that were stuck on the wall screamed in unbearable pain. Those who make pornography, there was a machine and a person was bound with their limbs spread apart. When the machine began to run, the hands and feet that were bound began slicing off. The torso that had been cut up were gathered into one pile. The body was sliced thinly and passed through the machine like a bank receipt running through the cash register. People who have sexual intercourse with animals. The people were hung upside down and twisted continuously until blood dripped from them and fluids oozed out of them. The spirits in hell screamed for their life to be spared, but I saw Satan below them collecting the dripping blood and drinking it. Women who enjoy sex and abort babies recklessly. A woman was hung upside down in a deep pit. Ten Satan inserted ten meter long spears into the woman's vagina, all at once twisting, stirring them inside her. Hell for those who have abortions. There was a silkworm like fruit on a bare leafless tree. There was a naked spirit curled up inside that fruit like a fetus inside a womb. There were sharp thorns made of steel embedded in the fruit and pierced into her body. So she bled in miserable pain. This place was filled with people who chased after their own pleasures, did not bear any children, but kept aborting them. Harming lives is tremendously a horrific sin of murder, so we have to quickly repent. Those who masturbate. You who cannot overcome Lucifer tricks and succumb to masturbation. There are so many of you who cannot overcome its pleasures and commit this act habitually. You do not realize the essence of love, nor can you feel an abundance of love and spirit. You are people who think that physical love is everything. When it comes to love, the love of the heart, mind, and spirit is the greatest. The rotten love of the lower body is actually a love that is dead. Those who masturbate. 
Satan puts a man on top of a big cutting board and begins to cut the man's penis. The man screamed and his whole body began to convulse. One woman was stripped naked and dragged on the floor of hot sharp rock. This woman was unable to overcome her desires and try to satisfy her physical desires through masturbation. They fall into the pits of hell because they do not perceive it. These people commit all kinds of filthy and wicked acts. These are people who live a life of human trash in the gutter. Among them are also famous entertainers. And there are many people who live being caught up in drinking at bars, lounges, and sexual pleasures. With gutter-like acts they have committed, they are undergoing punishment in the gutter of hell. These people had tried to kill themselves and beat themselves every day. They lived a life of self-condemnation. They hit others. They were violent and fought with others. These people lived a life of killing others in their hearts and with their words hundreds of times at a time. So many people in this world are corrupt from the fall. So please relay my ever-aching heart to them. Even at this very night, masses of people commit sins again and again, and they are born again as one who has lost value. Hell for children. Lord, how old is this child? The child is nine years old and was an elementary school student. Lord, why is this child going through such suffering? I really couldn't believe that a child was in hell and that it was truly dreadful. The child did things that his parents told him not to do and Satan was using this child the whole time. He was a foul mouthed and already caught up in sexual culture of adults even at a such young age. Therefore, his brain was already plagued with a disease to the point that even his parents could not help fix it. There were bugs and incense crawling around the child, and they were eating away at the fully naked child. Lord, what should we do with young children? Wouldn't it be okay if they repent? If children can discern between good and evil, know about heaven and hell, and judge for themselves, yet become corrupt and fall into dominion of sin, they will regard sin as trivial, harm others, mark and slander others with no intentions to repent. There are so many children like him in the world. If these children do not repent and get into an accident or become ill then die, Satan will drag them away and confine them to various prisons of hell. Hell for pastors who have become bad. One who experienced hell too. Satan was dancing with joy. Today, a big person come. He is the pastor who used to harass us. His whole spiritual body was tied up with rope and dragged there. Satan's held up an arrow with a very sharp metal tip that was heated over the fire and begin scarring him by stabbing him all over his body. 
Oh, please save me, Lord. Please save me, Lord. Oh. It's useless now. You have become mine. Oh. Lord, why is this person here? He once led a mid-sized church. He specially received the grace of God and began leading a church. He preached about heaven and hell to many lives, but later on, he gradually, little by little, became corrupt. He was a married man, but he seduced one young woman from the congregation, dated her, and began to forget about me. Soon after, he began hitting his wife and ended up leaving with the other woman. He was then driven out of church. Even when times grew hard, he did not seek me. He rejected my help even when I have tried to give him many chances and bring him back. I had wanted to lead many lives to the path of salvation through him, but he turned everything away and chased after his own desires. That is how he ended up here. Lord, what type of suffering will he go through here? Satan hates and despises most the pastors or anyone who once did my work. So they will inflict all kinds of pain. They will be happy and relieved that they fail for their tricks. The place is a hell for people who do not or hate to attend church. Even if they attend a church, they attend the church half-heartedly. Those who mishandle public funds. A man was standing naked with his two arms spread in the image of a cross. There were needles pricked into each of his cell all over his body. He looked as if he could not scream, even if he was in terrible pain. This person had spent the church funds as if it was his own. Those who do not preach the gospel... Those who hated the word of God, there was a person who kept vomiting. I looked closely and saw the small baby snakes were popping out of her mouth. This person had hated the word of God. The word is food for the spirit. Our, Our spirit spirits grow, grow and, and change, change through, through the word, the word of God. Of God. Those who confess their love only with their lips but fail to give their heart to Jesus. These people have not even once given their heart to me and only looked upon me as their neighbor. They did not love me. They called on me but only did so because they had to. They never cried for me but only cried for themselves. The modern people see, hear, feel, meet whoever and whoever they want and their hearts and bodies get caught up in them. So even when it's told to them that there is a creator who created human beings and that spiritual world exists, they never have the time to think of what world or show entrance. It can be expressed simply that they live the way they do because they do not know the realities of the spiritual world. Realize the instance that the result of such a life will lead you straight to hell. Those who live in this world have nothing to do with me. When they die, they will also go to a place where it has nothing to do with me. Path to hell. Path to heaven. 
There are so many paths in this world, but they are all ultimately two paths. It may seem that life consists of thousands of paths, but everyone, when they die, will have to choose between two paths. Heaven, hell. What determines your fate of going to heaven or hell is your life here on earth. It may seem that life consists of thousands of paths, but everyone, when they die, will have to choose between two paths. Just as gender, male or female, it is determined in the womb. It is in the womb of the earth that will determine the world where our spirit will reside. Everyone's physical body is born once and faced death, but as for people, fated for death. Our spiritual life is the outcome of our physical life. My heart aches when the one who I govern live in the midst of sin. They do not even know that it is sin until the sin they commit pile higher and higher and become as tall as a tower. But I will forgive everyone who breaks down their tower, become cleansed, and comes to me. Your pain are my pains. Your suffering becomes my suffering. Everyone who lives in the midst of sin quickly repent and come back to me. My path is straight and my bosom is wide and deep. I have expressed all of my love for all mankind. Repent sincerely so that you will not go to hell. Those who feel it deeply in their heart will strive with all their might not to go to hell. Tell them about this hell. Let it be known. It appointed to men to die once and after this the judgment. At this point, I would like to present a life-changing opportunity to you. If you would like to invite Jesus Christ into your heart, why don't you pray this prayer right away, meaning every word. Lord Jesus, I come to you a sinner. I believe you died for my sins and rose again to make me right with God. Forgive me all my sins and wash my heart with your precious blood. Write my name in your book of life and help me to make it to your heavenly kingdom. In your name I pray. Amen. Let everybody sing, Jesus, Jesus, forgive me for my sins. Jesus, Jesus, forgive me for my sins. Hallelujah, glory to you. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord and He lives and He lives. Jesus, Jesus, forgive me for my sins.